Good morning, students. A warm welcome back to Communicate English class. Hope you are doing great. Today we are going to look at kinds of nouns. Today we are going to look at kinds of nouns. What is a noun? Yes, in small classes you have learned nouns as naming words. Okay, what are nouns? Naming words. In the other definition we can say nouns are names of people, persons, or animals, things. Fine. Names of people, animals, things. Okay. Today we are going to look at the the different types of nouns. What are the, what are the different types of nouns? We have common nouns, proper nouns, collective nouns. and abstract nouns okay keep in mind common nouns proper nouns collective nouns and abstract nouns let's see what is common noun what is a common noun a common noun is used in common okay it's a noun used in common to every person or thing of the same class fine this category or this noun can be applied to each and every thing that belongs to its group for example boy for example boy it's a class of boys fine so we can use boy to every boy or girl we can use the noun girl to all girls we can use school the noun noun school to all schools fine so a common noun it can be used to identify or given to every person everything or of the same class fine table does all these are common nouns because we can use them in common we can apply the common nouns to all of these same kind fine go into the next one proper noun what's a proper noun if common can be applied to all of the same kind or same class proper noun can be used use or apply to a particular person or a particular thing okay we can't use the use it for any other person for example taj mahal okay taj mahal can be say there is a taj mahal in agra new delhi or in bathel no it's a particular okay it's very specific when i say taj mahal kerala okay again is very specific very particular then radha or Uh, kartika all these names all the names of people belong to proper nouns okay names of people belong to proper noun uh, names of place belong to proper nouns fine for example delhi india america scotland all these are proper nouns because it is very particular or specific okay common nouns we can use it in common proper noun can be applied to a particular person or thing clear keep in mind now we move on we are going to the third one collective noun what's a collective noun a noun that can be used for a group or number of persons or number of things or number of animals okay it's a group when there is a group of the same kind when the group is made of a same kind for example a group of students we can say a class of students if there is there's a group of a uh, rats then you can say a pack of rats a pack of rats clear for example again can you say some of some of an army of soldiers an army of soldiers a colony of ants a colony of ants these are a flock of sheep again it's very common a flock of sheep these are very common nouns collective nouns okay it's a group okay collective noun is a noun used for a group of things or persons of the same kind so again common noun proper noun collective noun and we are moving to the last one abstract noun what is this abstract noun a noun that can cannot be seen okay quality or action or state okay it could be either quality of something or action of something or state of something apart from things it belongs to for example goodness okay goodness this is a quality you can see it. okay then it is movement or judgment which is an action okay movement or judgment again the last one childhood or boyhood these are all examples for the, uh, the state of something movement and judgment these are examples for action and goodness is the, an example for quality goodness kindness all these are examples fine so we have learned with common nouns proper nouns collective nouns and abstract nouns keep in mind common nouns are nouns used in general in common 
Proper nouns are nouns used in particular person or used for particular person or particular thing. Okay. Collective nouns. Nouns we use for a group of persons or things. And again, abstract nouns that we speak about the quality or action or state of something apart from the object. Okay. To which it belongs. Fine. So hope it's very clear. Keep in mind all these kinds of nouns are learned well. We'll see in the next class. Till then, take care.